Welcome back Lord of the Rings fans. This is the LOTR Gamer YouTube channel. Today we'll be opening up uh, the next third of the uh, Lord of the Rings TCG Mount Doom booster box booster packs. Um, so we did the the first 12 packs of the uh, the booster box and these are the kind of the, the key pulls that we got. So these are our, our foils. We got our the first pack was our rare foil, which was pretty sweet uh, to pull this guy, the Mumak Chieftain. And then we also got a foil premium Frodo, which is pretty awesome. And then we got this uh, very sharp looking foil Euler Lemia, Lemen, Lemena, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, and then some of the the key rares we got, we got two Kyrdan, uh, the Shipwrights, which I think getting two of the same rares in a single box. Um, I, I guess then again, uh, what is there, 22 rares? Or no, what's the math again? 122 cards in the set, 40, yeah, no, it's, it's there's, there's more than 36 rares in the set I believe so so yeah so so yeah getting two of the same same rare in a box is is quite anomalous anomalous I believe uh, since there's 36 packs in a box and more than 36 rares in this set if my my math is correct and not to mention I believe it's it is the best uh, in terms of non foil um, the best rare to get so pretty pretty sweet to get two of those guys and then Shelob next in line being a great rare to pull there and then some pretty decent you know uh, next rares the Mumak, the Mumak Chieftain and then probably is the next best rare there and then after that some kind of lesser rares, but still pretty pretty cool. Some pretty good rares there. So yeah, so pretty good start I would say uh, for those first twelve packs. So let's see what what the next twelve packs hold. So let's kick right into it. Rally Call. I don't know if we got that in the first 12 packs. And our rare is a ah, birthday present. Add a burden to choose two Shire events with different card titles from your discard pile. Choose an opponent and make him or her choose one of those cards for you to take into hand. Interesting card. And window of the eye, no foil. Sometimes these are hard to open. <clears throat> With Mount Doom being a, a smaller set, um, there will be a significant amount of duplicate cards 
And our rare. Ooh, another Shelob. And no foil. And let's leave that one. So that's pretty cool. So the two top non foil rares. We got two of them in this in one box. That's a that is pretty awesome. I think this is a pretty a pretty good box. Hopefully we pull a golem because it'd be nice to use those um, shelobs in our Return of the King deck. And our rare is Shagrat, Captain of Sirith Ungol. Each time Shagrat loses a skirmish, you may exert a character. Interesting. You get a bonus for losing a skirmish. And no foil. Let's see. So Shagrat's going for about two fifty. Two bucks and fifty cents. Non foil. Deeds Awake. And our rare, who it looks, Gladrel Lady Redeemed. That's another great card to play. That's in the top, top five non-foil chase cards. And no foil there. So with her, I know, um, I don't, let me see if I can pull it up quickly, but the, uh, the reprint on her card, because right away when she's in your starting fellowship, she's free, which is quite, uh, I think they changed that in the errata, but I can't remember. I'd have to, yeah, no. I'd have to dig it up. But anyways, I know there's some changes to the to this card, but but quite a, gr a great card to have. You can, for the fellowship or re regroup phase, you can discard an, uh, an elven event uh, card from hand to discard a shadow condition or shadow possession so you know think shadow possession if there's any hides out on the table that you want to get rid of shadow conditions those could be things like you know blade tip or black breath anything that's anything that's attached to your companions and causing a lot of damage so that's a great card for an elven deck Right. Let's keep 
stuck in the wrong. Great heart, back, houses of lamentation. Every little is a gain, underfoot. Nine-fingered Frodo and the Ring of Doom. Mortar Pillager, Frank and File. Reclaim the Precious. Oh, and our rare is Born Far Away. Spot your wizard to exchange your companion in hand with a companion in your dead pile or discard pile. A note, I think, I believe it was this, this set when they started putting the um, the phase that you would place uh, event cards up in the kind of this part rather than having like a bolded text down here um, like that you see kind of in this card here see how it's like assignment for the assignment phase down here bolded rather than fellowship phase bolded down here so that was kind of like a decipher uh, change and any foil no foil so born away is our rare Tale of the Great Ring. For the um, the Return of the King block, this was a a decent card to kind of throw in a deck to kind of replace um, the purposes of like say the Bounder Ally. So prevent a Hobbit from being overwhelmed unless a Shadow card, a Shadow event is or was played during the skirmish. You know, there's that factor kind of kind of sucks because. Um, you know, if your opponent plays a shadow event, then it kind of nullifies the the um, the prevention of being overwhelmed. Um, but it kind of I know bounders like prevent your hobbit from being overwhelmed unless tripled, but this just outright prevents your hobbit from being overwhelmed unless they play a, an event skirmish. But either or. Some kind of hobbit ring bearer protection either way. Good to have. Oh, Hardy Garrison. And our rare is Celeborn, Lord of the Gladrium. Not a bad card. At the start of each skirmish involving Celeborn, you may reveal a top card of your draw deck. If it is an elven card, you may discard it to wound each minion in that skirmish. Not bad. And, oh, is this foil? No, I don't think so. It's kind of deceiving with the, the ghostly green. All right, so we got Celeborn there. I know the Mount Doom set was a a fun one to play with the, the new Elven cards. Very important, you definitely need some, some
some supporting cards from the from the Return of the King set. Or from from any other set really, depending on what format you're playing. Ring is mine. Not a bad card to add for a, a bird and corruption deck with Sauron orcs. Brave and loyal. And our rare. Oh. Now we have Arwen. We almost have all of the elves. Each minion in skirmishing Arwen is strength minus two for each wounded minion you can spot. Each minion skirmishing. Each minion in skirmishing Arwen is strength minus two for each wounded minion you can spot. So I think that includes. Yeah, that also includes other minions um, like that are facing other companions so definitely you'd want to, the ordering of who fights who first definitely matters so if you have elven elves with archery and whatnot you might want the r1 skirmish to, to potentially fight first if you know all the other minions are wounded and whatnot but definitely a strong Strong card to have. And, oh, I believe we have a foil. Is it? Wait, is it? Jeez, it's hard to tell. Oh, wait, maybe not. No, I don't think so. Unless it's very limited. Usually I go through all my... Uh, that looks more of a foil uh, just with the, uh, the file. Yeah, no, that's not a foil. I always go through the uh, commons and uncommons just to triple check. Anyway, let's keep plugging away. Let us see. Really calm. Another common and our rare is oh, Elrond. I think that's the last of our elven companions. We've had oh, almost the last four to five. Another great card here to play spot an elf. At the start of each skirmish involving Elrond, you may reveal the top card of your draw deck. If it is an Elven card, you may heal another. Com and if it is an Elven card, you may heal another Elf. So another kind of, you know, kind of pro tip in terms of like ordering your skirmishes. If you have these guys both fighting, you might want to put Elrond first to kind of do his thing first to see what the top of the card is. If it's Elven, you may want to reveal it. Awesome, you can heal someone. And then do his thing, reveal it. Oh, it's Elven, because we already know it's Elven. And then use it to discard it to wound.
So that's one way to. Oh, and I already showed, but looks like no foil. I don't even have any any foils. This and we're down to our last four of part two. No foils yet. Guess we we hit three in part one, so. Hopefully we can hit at least one. And our rare is Euler Cantea. He's enduring fierce. Shao cards cannot exert Euler and Kea during the skirmish phase. And in the skirmish, you may heal Euler and to discard a possession borne by a character he's skirmishing. Ooh, so that's pretty, pretty sweet there. Oh, it looks like Euler Contea is out of stock. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's back in stock. It's only going for a few bucks. But not a bad card. And no foil. That was a And our rare is, oh, Gorbag. Got a sword, so that's good. For each wound on the ring bear, each ring wraith orc is strength plus one. And no foil. So we're 10 packs down, no foil. Oh, this one. Oh, looks like I was kind of warped there. I guess this, uh, how old is this set? I'm trying to think. The movie came out in what, 2003? And it came out just, just after the movie. So yeah, this box is coming on 20 years old, so I guess starting to get kind of a bit of a warp to it, I guess. That's another one of our. Uh, oh no, it's Euler and Kea. That's kind of a higher sought out. Told 
full day. Uh, yeah, it's in the in the two three buck range. Let's see. So shadow cards cannot exert exert him during the skirmish phase. So kind of like the main premise because of that is because he does have the enduring text. So you can't just kind of willy nilly make him exert to boost his strength because enduring basically gives him a strength boost for each wound he has. So if he's got a wound on him, he'll get a strength plus two bonus. But then however, if he's got one wound giving him, you know, 14 strength, you can heal him to, you know, reduce his strength, reduce, the, reduce his strength to give him a damage plus one bonus. That's kind of the, the limiting factor. So if you're, you know, have one wound on him, he's strength 14, he's facing somebody who's strength 10, you're already winning, you can heal him to bring him back down to strength 12 and then have him at damage uh, plus one. So that way your strength 12, damage plus one versus your opponent's 10. And that way you win and then you can do an additional damage on them. So that's kind of like the, the gameplay strategy uh, with these cards. So quite cool. And our no foil. Jeez. Not very good with the foils for this 12. All right, this is our last pack of part two. Fingers crossed for a foil. If not, part three should be a banger. Are rare. Oh, the troll of Kirith Gorgor. It's damage plus one fierce. To play at the spot a Sauron minion. This minion is strength plus one for each possession you can spot. It's pretty good. And we have a foil. No, no foil for these wave of 12 packs. Unless I missed one, it doesn't look like any foils. And the troll is going for about four bucks. So we got a few decent hits. Well, we got another Shelob, which is pretty cool. We got, where is, well, we got basically the rest of the elves. They're all going for a decent, you know, a decent buck. Look at those guys. And then we also got some decent, some decent minion action too. Can't go wrong there. So yeah, so pretty good pulls in the rare department. No complaints there. Despite the no foils. Not a big deal. So part three, we're expecting at least three more foils because we didn't get any this turn. Um, we got our three in the first, the first third. So the bottom or above the the last third should definitely have our our three to get our ratios down. And in terms of rares, you know we're still there's a few big hitters that we're still expecting. You know like the uh, the Aragorn card for sure, Treebeard. Uh, the Denethor card, I would say. Um, 
And then there's other cards like the um, season leader card, season leader. Um, what else? Advanced captain. That's a kind of a big minion card. You layer and Kea. Those are probably some of the. Oh, Golem, of course. Can't forget about him. Those are probably probably the big rares that we'll be expecting to get in the in the, the last third of our box. But yeah, so overall, I'd say it's been a it's been a pretty good box so far. Two two Shelobs, two Kyrdans. That's a and a foil uh, Frodo Resolute Hobbit. That's that's a pretty sweet pull, right? Right, right right there so yeah hope you enjoyed the the poll so far and stay tuned for the part three and uh thanks for watching i'll see you next time